Okay, so you sent um, this article to our team the other day that is horrifying. It's uh, about a woman, a mom of three from Melbourne, Australia, who has just found out that the love of her life and father of her kids, I think there are three, yeah, three kids, is her biological brother. I mean, can you even, you guys, like that? It's, I think they're half brother and sister. So that doesn't, I mean, it's still, it doesn't make it any better. Oh, it's her, it's her half brother, which freaks me out. I mean, I like my, cause listen, we both, my husband and I both pretty dysfunctional families, but my husband, um, his dad split when he was six weeks old. And so he was raised by a single mother, grandparents. This happens, right? This happens and people, a lot of people out there like that. And so he did not know his biological father. His biological father went on to father lots of other kids. Okay. I guess he was a loser that just went on deadbeat dude, went on to father lots of other kids. So when you get to the point where you get older and I'm like, listen, you don't know anything about your father, you know, about his biology, you know, like what kind of sicknesses he had, whatever we should do like one of those um, 23 and me's and like see that sort of thing. So we started doing like the genealogy it, because of my prompting he, prompting, he did like the genealogy stuff and he was out there. And then he was also on social media. Turns out he ended up with uh, you guys since over the first off, he found like four half brothers and sisters that ended up finding him. And they were in like the next town over from where he grew up. So he's like, oh my God, I could have like ended up dating these girls. Two and of that them. happened here in Zionsville. There's a whole documentary about that because there what? was like a, um, one of those doctors. The sperm donor like, guys. Yeah. yeah it's sperm. Yeah. And he goes, thank God I didn't, you know, but he's like, there's, there were two girls and then two boys. And then come to find, there's another one that he found out about that lives in Atlanta. That's a, a half sister. So, I mean, and God only, there may be more, we don't know. There may be more. He's just not found out about him yet. So, I mean, this is the thing. It happens where it, I, that's why I, I, when I saw this story, I thought, God, I feel awful for her because right. it's not her fault. She didn't know. But if so the question she, is, what do you do? What do you do? You have that information. And the kids are fine. Thankfully, the kids They're, are fine. God, but like, let's... what do you do when you find that out? And by the way, she found out because she was adopted, didn't know she was adopted. Right. Um, but then her mom was diagnosed with cancer and she started digging around and found out through that process that she mm -hmm. had this different birth mother and a couple of other siblings, including her fiance, because they're not married. They have kids together, but they're not married yet who had a different dad. And so now she's called off the wedding. Like she said, I can't marry my half brother. I even know. though they already have these kids together. So some people are like, yeah, that's right. You did the right thing. But others are like, you're, but you, you, you have children, you have children right. with him. Like, yeah. It's changed in your relationship. Like, how do you just turn that off? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, it's changed for her obviously because oh she's, God. she's so skeeved out about it. Which I got to tell you, I probably would be too. Right, right. I would be too. If like how devastating I would, there would be some major therapy in my future. Um, I must not have done a very good job last week when we talked about the Eden Pure thunderstorms because I got like two or three emails from people saying, "What is that email or what is the website address for these handy little odor controlling contraptions that you just plug right into your wall and it can make your entire room it can remove all any any or all bad odors." cooking, litter boxes, sports equipment, whatever. You plug this into the um, wall in your whatever room is stinky and it wipes out those odors. This is amazing. I don't know I don't know what I did wrong last week when I was giving out the information about it, but the website to get these and they have a new deal this week that I think is only lasting this week is EdenPureDeals.com. Right now, it is buy one, get one free. So you use code CHICKSBOGO, CHICKS, B-O-G-O, -O, uh, and you'll get buy one, get one free pricing on the Thunderstorm air purifier this week only. And again, the website is EdenPureDeals.com. You can also, because of this handy dandy little USB port, you can use these in a car. If you have a stinky car, these are amazing. You can see how small it is. It's like hand sized, you guys. And it's buy one, get one. I know you have more than one room that you need these in. I know it. I'm not I'm not judging. I'm just saying everybody has an area that needs a little extra help. This is your help. It's true. So it's EdenPureDeals.com and the code for this week only, Chicks 
B-O-G-O, Chicks Bogo. Get yourself one or two since the second one is free. This apparently, I have a video to show you along the same vein. Um, and by the way, this is our schlong today, if you didn't figure that out. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I have, there's this video. I don't know if this is legit, okay? But based on what we just told you, this actual real story, this is in the realm of possibility. It's very far-fetched, but it could happen. And she seems really serious. So I don't know if this is real or if she's just telling this fake story to cause drama. You can decide for yourself. Here it is. Austin and I found out we were twins when we were 16 years old. I know it sounds super crazy, but let me explain. When me and Austin were in the womb, our parents were actually going to get divorced after our birth. When we were born, my parents decided that my dad would take me and my mom would take Austin, which is super hilarious because Austin looks exactly like our mom and I look exactly like my dad. Funny enough, me and Austin lived five minutes away from each other and our parents had no idea how close oh we God. actually were to each other. What? Austin and I ended up going to the same high school. The weirdest thing is, is literally right when I saw him, I knew there was something like a connection and I didn't know what it was, if it was love at first sight, which it could have been. The funny thing is, is that me and Austin went on dates when we finally started liking each other and my dad never knew who he was. Austin and I went to a dance together and that is where I met my mom for the first time. We had dance what in pictures the world? and usually sometimes parents come and watch their kids get pictures done. Well, my dad and my mom were there at the same time. And that is when our whole lives got turned around. We were all in such shock. So Austin and I just kept dating. And by the time we were 18, we literally had our life planned out. Just imagine you meet the love of your life when you're 16 and you get thrown that curveball that you were twins. If you were dating in high school and planned your life, would you really drop everything, break up because you found out you were twins? Honestly, I don't think you would. Austin and I got married and we had our whole family there and they were so supportive and it was the best day of my life. I can't picture my life any other way and I can't picture my life without Austin. Imagine what would you do if you were in our situation and you met the uh, love of your life, you had your whole life planned out. You break just, up, you break up immediately. And you don't have kids, like for God's sake. No, you break up immediately. That's God, gross. And not only that, like how did her parents not know, like how did her dad not know what the other one, what the other kid looked like? How did right. they not, if they were well, five minutes and, that's, that's what, what makes it sketch. A little, yeah, sketch. that's what seems a little sketch. I mean, yeah. again, this could th theoretically happen. It I'm could happen. Saying, but right. it, I don't know if that specific story is legit. Yeah. It's I mean, because it, it goes, yeah, because it goes back to, you know, my, my husband's personal story, mm -hmm. which is, I mean, he did not have contact with his father, but right. they were literally like just like 10 minutes away in another town. So, I mean, it, really, conceivably, it could happen. Easily. Easily. It could happen, right. But also, so, like, what family is like, you take one kid, I'll take another kid, and right. we're never going to talk to each other especially, again? Especially with twins. <laughs> right? I mean, that's super what in the world. Like, no yeah. sense. It's just but crazy. Anyway, that also um, reminded me of this. What do you think about this? So these are identical twin sisters who married identical twin brothers, and then they had baby boys at the same time. Time. Okay. So it's these all babies are genetic siblings, but also cousins. Okay. It's all looks, it's all really neat. I don't know, but why do they have to dress the same and live together? <laughs> right. Why? I don't know. Like that's where I that's where I get a little weirded out by all this. And like is it's, it neat? I don't know if it's neat. It's it if they found it some okay, it's just fluky and it can happen and I'd let it go. But the dressing the same and the living together is where I go, y'all are weird. You're weird now. You've crossed the line and you've become weird. <laughs> just now they crossed the line. I know. I just it's <laughs> like 
but the but the marrying twin like the twins marrying yeah. twins and then just by chance because that's happened before right where twins have married twins and then they have babies like on the same because it happens but stop it right this stop it's not, not okay. like have your own identity try to do that just weird i mean i get that there's like a whole twin connection thing i know but maybe and I like don't have that experience but but do you have to dress the same like when you're in your 30s like what do you why yeah that's just a little it's, weird it's weird it's like you look like the shining twins <laughs> stop it <laughs>